It looks like things are going to be a little different across central Texas this week. Instead of being on the 100 bubble every day, we're going to be seeing temperatures likely in the 90s, and there could be a few thunderstorms from time to time. It's not going to be a washout in any one location, but a few isolated showers and thunderstorms may pop up throughout the week. Highs in the 90s, then a few thunderstorms will be possible as we head into Labor Day weekend as well. And that could be a little more widespread than what we're seeing this week. Our triple digit counter. No, we have not hit 100 degrees today, so we're stuck at 17 days now. The last one we saw was last week, so we are staying under that average of 24 days and hopefully that trend will continue. Now, instead of the temperature map, we'll show you some rain chances as it looks like it'll be on the isolated side Tuesday through Friday. So we'll go about 20% there, maybe a little higher down toward the Brazos Valley. And then we'll up it to 30% as of now, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And one of these days may even go a little bit higher, dependent on exactly where disturbance settles in across the Lone Star State. But we're not quite as hot this week. We told you we'd have more of an influence from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what we're seeing. Look at this little disturbance riding in from the coast and that's why we'll see a couple of thunderstorms from time to time especially during the daylight hours you heat up that atmosphere a little disturbance overhead and you'll pop out a few of those isolated thunderstorms so let's check out what we're tracking here as we make our way through the evening hours looks like a few thunderstorms will be possible in a few bands then after sunset a lot of that dies out with the loss of daytime heating but we do it all over again as we head into tuesday that little disturbance will still be close by so Isolated thunderstorms will be possible from time to time as we head into Tuesday afternoon. And then we may do it again on Wednesday with isolated thunderstorms from time to time. So again, about a 20 to 30% chance you'll get wet each and every day pretty much this week. And you may see rain one day and not for the next couple of days. It's just going to be very spotty out there. So tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the low to mid 70s for us. That's a little better than where we were last week. And this is definitely better here. Highs into the middle 90s. That is definitely looking a lot better than those 104s and 105s we were seeing. Lower 90s back to the southwest. You'll be closer to the disturbance and more cloud cover there. And looking at your forecast, looks like we will be looking at 95 degrees on Tuesday. And we're just going to kind of hang out in the mid 90s. 95, 96 degrees all week long. Then we head toward your holiday weekend. 30% chances of some thunderstorms each and every day. Don't think it washes out your plans, but we will have a couple thunderstorms around from time to time. High is a little bit cooler in the lower 90s and then we'll be in the low to mid 90s as we head into next week. And for the Brazos Valley, 94 degrees on Tuesday, 95 on Wednesday, 94 Thursday. And then again, keeping about a 30% chance in as we go through the holiday weekend, Saturday, Sunday on into Monday with highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s.